Hey, this is Sky. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get right into today's list. I got three things I want to talk about and we'll go over them. I hope you guys are staying up on your morning studies. I know I am and these are things that I pulled from this morning's studying that I did. The first quote that I want to discuss with you guys and we can go over this together is stop blaming others. Stop blaming others. You got to take personal responsibility for your life. You have to own up to where you're at, what's going on, what you've been through, all those scars on you. You got to own up to them. All the trauma that you have, you have to own up to it. You had a hand in it. Sure, other people may have done things to you. Maybe things happened to you, as we like to say nullifying any kind of involvement, involvement that we have with our own lives. We have this passive involvement, right? Things are just happening to us. We're just pinballs in a pinball machine being bounced around without any control. And this happened to me. And then you expect me to get over it? All this bad stuff happened and I'm supposed to just get over it? <laughs> I used to say that shit. You gotta stop blaming the world for where you're at, blaming the world for who you are, blaming the world for your circumstances, blaming others, blaming your parents, blaming the cops, blaming the judges, blaming the system. You gotta stop blaming. You gotta own up to life. But part of the stop blaming others, I wanna include stop blaming yourself. So stop blaming others but also stop blaming yourself. Take ownership. There's a difference between taking ownership and blaming. Blaming is like, you did it. You, you did that. <laughs> taking ownership is, is different because we can point the finger at ourselves and be like, you're so stupid, you know, look in the mirror and be like, God damn you. I, you know, and we can really talk down to ourselves in a negative way, weakening ourselves. So I think it's important when something bad happens, instead of to look for who did it, who did this, did you do this? And then when you realize that it was you, you're like, ah, damn it, damn it, damn it, I'm so stupid. We beat ourselves up. I mean, not physically, but that is a psychological uh, syndrome. It's weird too. I, I knew a lady whose mother did that. She hurt herself. She would hit herself, cut herself uh, uncontrollably uh, in a, this kind of like punishment, self-punishment. You just want to accept things for what they are and move on. Find solutions. If you're stuck in the mud, it's not helpful to sit there and point the finger at, you know, who did this to me? Or sit there and beat yourself up about it. I'm so stupid for taking this path. Just realize how stuck you are. Start looking for options. How can I get out of here? How can I keep moving forward? So let's go to the next one. Starting tomorrow, what will you do to change your life? Starting tomorrow, what will you do to change your life? What are you waiting for? People sit around wallowing in shit, complaining most of the time. I get together with my buddies and there's always this initial session where everybody has to go around the horn and fucking complain about everything in their life. Everybody gets their little chance to do it. My question when people like to complain and bitch about their lives is always the same. I have the one question I ask people and I very rarely get an answer. A lot of people love to just be miserable. They don't really have a plan for moving forward. And I ask people, what are you going to do about it? Oh, my wife dumped me. Okay, that sucks. I'll pat you on the head for a second. And then finally, I'm going to ask you, what are you going to do about it? Oh, I have no money. I need money. I can't afford anything anymore. I'm, I'm so desperate for money. Okay, yeah, that sucks. But what are you going to do about it? You know, so that's what I, my response is. 
because I'm about action. I'm about action. I got very tired of people when I was in my 20s. I realized there's two types of people. Young talks about this. There's dreamers and doers. There's certain motherfuckers that just sit around dreaming about shit, fantasizing about shit, wishing for shit, talking about stuff, always talking about plans, never really doing anything. Always dreaming about stuff, never really getting busy with anything. Year in and year out goes by and they're the same. They're the same motherfuckers five years ago as, as they are today, the same person they were 10 years ago as they are today, and they have the same dreams as they did. Your dreams should update every year. Because you should be moving towards them and accomplishing them and you should be reaching plateaus. And with every plateau we reach when we're climbing a mountain, we realize, well, there's more. I thought this was the top. Turns out there's way more. So starting tomorrow, what are you going to do to change your life? You need to stop bitching about it. Stop whining and, compl and complaining like a child. And then get up off your ass and go do something. What are you going to do tomorrow? Where are you going to spend the rest of the week wallowing in shit, the rest of the year? You're going to finish this year off a total sucker. You got a few, uh, what, two weeks left? You could change your whole life in one day. I have a whole other video about this. One day, you could change your life in one day. I've done it before. More than once. One day, that's all it takes. You could change your whole life. Go from broke to rich one day. I've done it before. You could go from pain to pleasure, from sorrow to love, one day. What are you going to do tomorrow? Sit around and whine, bitch. Waste your day sleeping. I'm so tired. All right, let's go to the next one. This is the last one. These are just three things to think about for the day. Mind, body, and soul. That's how we get through. This is warrior training. All right, the last quote is, the right time is never go coming. Do it now. So this kind of goes along with the first one. The right time is never coming. Do it now. I know what this is about. I have waited and waited for the right time, like a hunter. You wait for that shot. When am I going to take this shot? When's the perfect time to pull that trigger? At a certain point, you just have to take that deep breath. And as you're letting it out, Bam! You take that shot and just fucking see what happens. Your sights are lined up as good as they're going to be. Let's just pull that trigger. You got to just act. You got to act. People who act, even in some ways impulsively and slightly unwisely, get further than people that don't. You can stand there and look at the obstacle for only so long. And at a certain point, you just got to go for it. There's so many things that are like this. Business is like this. It was for me. Many times I've had a business plan and you can sit and mull it around and think about it and you want to form it into a solid uh, ball before you start pushing it on people and looking for investors and all that kind of thing. You want to really have a good plan and you want to have everything in place. I got to have all, all my investors in place. I gotta ha and you just go down the line. You can even write this out, which is helpful to do, and sit there and be like, I have to have everything in perfect place. We have to be perfect before we launch. I don't want to fail, so we have to launch just right. And you can get so overly obsessed of how to launch properly and not only miss your opportunities, miss your windows of opportunities because many products and services have certain windows of product uh, rise and fall and you don't want to wait too long you want to get in before the rise you want to be on the rise when, when a product is at its peak that's not the best time to get into it because you're all you got is down you want to get in on the rise that takes guts it's a huge risk a lot of motherfuckers just sit there scared you got to jump on it jump on that train quick the right time in your life is never going to come there's never going to be perfect conditions. I'll wait till summer. Do it now. What are you waiting for? You're wasting your life. You can die tomorrow. You can die today. A lot of motherfuckers take life for granted. You don't have as much time as you think. You really don't. And this could all be gone. 
I've learned this lesson so painfully. And what it's done for me is to inspire me. Because is, is, is there any good in death? We can learn lessons. And this is one of them. The right time is never coming. Do it now. It's all just food for thought. Feel free to chime in on any of these three quotes if you have any uh, uh, points that maybe you want to further. Thanks for watching.